welcome back to another mukbang thumbnail. I have to say thumbnail because if I don't say thumbnail, I'm going to forget the thumbnail. And welcome back to another video, you guys. It's your first time here. You know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button and make a brother feel good by himself. All right. uh, that's not going to make me feel good by myself. <laughs> I mean, it, it will help. But either way, got that good seafood, boys. We got some crab and shrimp and things going on. Oh, man. I lost my cucumber. Oh man. Oh man. Dang. Mmm. The sauce is. The sauce is hot. Man. Uh oh. I thought I lost the egg. This is my first time eating today. Excuse me. I was trying to get up and eat breakfast in the morning time. Oh, here goes the tablecloth. Mm -hmm. I love these ooh, juices popping everywhere. I love these neat little um, shrimp skewers. So I call myself, um, I call myself buying some, you know, you mouth. <laughs> you want to talk about going to get pissed off. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'll put these in here. Mm. Do 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 Right, here we go. Mmm. Ah oh, man, I keep wanting to do the mmm challenge, the no mmm challenge, but I keep forgetting to not to say the mmm. Boy, when it's so good, you can't help it. Let it be good. It's like 
the mm is in my blood. Remember your manners, kids. <laughs> What's y'all favorite part of the um of the crab? Comment below. Is it this part? A lot of people don't like. But they feel like it's harder to get it out. But it'd be so much juice and flavor. Mm -hmm. I would legit do a whole video with sauce and cucumber. That's how good it is to me. That's how good it is to me. I've seen people do, um, can y'all see this? <laughs> can y'all see? Every time I think about it, I'm like, oh, my, um, I got some scissors, so this will be easier to do. But I like to use my man muscles. these crabs open. I was noticing sometimes the um excuse me. Oh I don't know what that was. <laughs> sometimes um oh my god it's all over Seafood bars are not meant for the um the uh what do you call it? Clean eaters. It's just ain't I don't know. I see a lot of people um I see a lot of people do their bars clean, but I just can't seem to do it clean. You just have to make it nasty. So I call myself going to Kroger and buying some um, discounted crab because that's what I thought it was discounted, <laughs> which it was. And um, like, ooh, I got me a little lick. I didn't hit a lick. So I'm finna. Uh, mm. I'm feeling a little bug in my eye. I ain't trying not to let the bug sit on my cheek the whole video. I don't know why I don't check my eye before I start recording. Um, what well, I finna say? So yeah, I was like, ooh, trying to hit me a lick. I'm finna uh, freeze this for next time. So that's what I did. I froze it. Which is still good. Now don't get me wrong. But I thought I was gonna, you know, discount on some legs. I go a few minutes ago, you know, get ready to start the ball. And pop the package open. I don't know how I can see because it's a clear, it's wrapped in a clear plastic. I don't know how I can see it. Pop 
pop the package open. Dang. And it's a package full of claws. I see you, motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all got it right here. <laughs> Y'all got my motherfucker there. Got me. Jokes on you. <laughs> but they had like some um, my brothers sometimes will you know like pre-season it with Obey or whatever. But these were like pre-seasoned with lemon pepper. I was like, I'm gonna take these home and watch that lemon pepper. Oh, who it rich? You know what I'm saying? Take these home and wash that lemon pepper off of there, and I'm gonna have me some a good ball. Hood rich. And um, hood rich. <laughs> you have to be the from the south to know where I got that from. I guess I don't know. They may play it on the north. Every time on the radio. Uh, it's a certain radio station here. Uh. It might be from back home. I don't know if it's here or back home. I think it might be back home. Yeah, it was definitely back home because we had a store back in the day. How y'all? How many y'all remember the um? Well, I don't know. I don't know if any guys watch my show, but how many y'all back in the day remember the big Jabot jean? So I used to always by the um, Jabos when I was in middle school and high school. Somewhat into high school, but it's kind of out by middle school. But um, yeah, we used to buy the Jabot from this store and it was called, the name of the store was Hood Rich. And um, I don't know if it's from a song, I don't know where it's from, but every time they um, talk about the store on the radio, the local radio station, um, somebody will come like the little tune to come across the um, radio and they say, Hood oh, Rich. <laughs> That's why I got that from, if y'all ever hear me say that a lot. Hood oh, Rich. But yeah, them dang on Jabot jeans was expensive back in the day. Man, you want nobody if you ain't had no Jabot. Jabot and some all white forces. Oh, you was um, you was the um, richest person in the neighborhood. Stopping in your F four one. How many of y'all remember stomping in the F four one? Give me two birds. My grandma made sure we always had at least two pairs. When they started getting dusty and dingy, we'll buy some more. I don't know where she got the money from. <laughs> I don't know how she did what she did. I'm trying to figure it out to this day, cause I need a new pair of shoes right now, but I'm like, oh my God. How does she do it? How do mothers do it? How do y'all do it? I don't understand. Like I'm 29 years old. <laughs> I wanna understand. I'm tired of living like this. I'm tired. <laughs> started eating it, I was going to find the boo-boo, and there it goes. I hate this. Give me two bear. Ah, excuse me. These 
shrimp are gulf shrimp, G-U-L-F. And then gulf shrimp are different than the pink shrimp and the white shrimp that you see in the store. If y'all, I don't know if they do up north or any other um, state, but if y'all ever come across If y'all ever come across some Gulf shrimp, G-U-L-F, like the Gulf of Mexico, is where they come from. I think. <laughs> Don't give me the line. Because I will lie. I'll lie in a minute. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, I'm off and say G-U-L-F, Gulf shrimp they are a very different taste very different texture than your average shrimp trust me I prefer the gulf shrimp I grew up eating gulf shrimp I got the way check on deck full effect For some reason these even these um even these snow crabs have been a little salty lately. piece of meat today <laughs> some days I'll fight with the meat but I ain't eating nothing I don't, I don't feel like fighting no little meat if I can't get it out on the first pool so be it <sighs> mm, lord almost choked ah! excuse me Always remember your manners, children. I hate when I pull this part out because it messes up my meat. Don't have to be with me, my girl. Get on out of there, folks. Mm. Mm. That's that good meat. Buttery. So this stuff really, if y'all really are looking for like a good diet, this is it. This will keep you Keep your will. Seafood. Right 
Don't have to be rich. Hurry. <laughs> Up. This is all still hot. Almost 30 minutes into the video. Shot. And last time I had a taking a shot. Oh yeah. Ooh, story time. Mm. Well, I was younger. I used to work at McDonald's. Okay, maybe that's not a good story. <laughs> oh, I can give a brief. Let me give a brief, brief, brief part of the story. I used to work at McDonald's. I used to work at McDonald's. And um, that's my first job, I think. Yeah. And um, I used to get on to the um, employee because I was a manager. I was like 17. I ain't fooling with a little meat today, I'm sorry. I had to get on to the employee about um, not filling the bags up like I was buying them. <laughs> like I was gonna get a raise. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, I was making like, I was a manager and I was making like $8, I think, $8 an hour. Nothing against the people that are managers or work at McDonald's, because like I said, I worked there for many years. Worked for um, My Joy was the name of the company, and My Joy. Well, I initially, I didn't work for My Joy initially. I didn't work for My Joy until I went to Jackson State to go to school. But My Joy was owned by a man named Al Joyner. Last name sound familiar? Al Joyner was Tom Joyner's brother. And he actually owned um, the majority of the McDonald's in Jackson, Mississippi. Little known fact. And I actually talked to Tom Joyner before. Because Mr. Joyner would come and he'll call. And um, he'll put Tom Joyner on the phone. And we just, you know, talking stuff. And Mr. Jordan was real good about keeping me. I'm going to get back to the first story. I'm just skipping. Either way, when I was working at McDonald's when I was 16, before I moved to Jackson, I'm just skipping all around the story. Um, I had put some, well, somebody had put a broken um, coffee mug. I used to get on to them about that. They put a broken coffee mug in the trash can. And I went to throw something in the trash can, but I didn't want to change out the bag. So I pushed the trash down, but I didn't push it down with my foot. I pushed it down with my hand, and the broken coffee mug was in the trash can. And um, 
uh, slip my wrist. Sure did. It slipped my wrist. A little known fact. That's why I was talking about the when the last time I got a technic shot, which is so far back in the video that y'all probably forgot what I was talking about anyway. But yeah, um, so yeah, it slipped my wrist from here to here, which I still have a scar there, and, and it was like these white things, strings hanging out, tendons and stuff. But I didn't have nobody to take me to the hospital, so I had to drive myself to the hospital with one hand. Put the car in gear with one hand. <coughs> Excuse me. And drive myself to the hospital to get stitches. But yeah, I slipped my wrist. And it was just blood. Okay, I said I wanted to see him out though. That's why I didn't want to say nothing. <laughs> I didn't want to uh, mess up the ball. Either way, back to the, um, when I moved, um, they um, hired me as a manager again when I was in school and college. And uh, Mr. Jordan was a good, good human being. Went to you, I was a good man. I was a good human being. Most down to earth person you know. It was a many days. We'd be busy, busy, busy. And Mr. Jordan would come in and he'd be like, take a break. I'm like, what you mean? I can't take no break. Um, we busy. Like, you don't see all these cars in the drive-thru? you like, yo, you, um, you delegating, right? That's why I learned how to delegate. It was from working at McDonald's. He was like, you a manager. Let me teach you how to be a manager. Let me teach you how to be a leader. He said, you want to be a leader, right? I said, yeah. He said, you want to run the show one day, right? I said, yeah. He said, Let me teach you how. Take a break. So, um, I looked to my employee. I said, y'all, Mr. John said, <laughs> I got to take a break. I me and Mr. John being alive, been busy, busy. It wasn't just busy the way they can handle it, you know what I'm saying? Because I had my prime folks who I needed in the drive through drive through my front counter. You know, I, you know what I'm saying? I had my strong folks in their position, my grill, um, you know, on the table, everybody was strong as, you know, in every position. So I was good. But, um, he was like, why, you know, you ain't got no business back there working. And you the manager. How you gonna know and how you gonna be available if you run the drive through and you run, you know what I'm saying? Basically teaching me how to delegate. Uh, um, you know, use the employees for what the employees are for. So, um, learned a lot from Mr. Joyner. Learned a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot from Mr. Joyner. But either way, yeah, he pulled me off. We go sit in the lobby and we just talk business. I was young. And um, we just talk business. And sometimes he'll call Al, he'll call um, Tom Joyner and um, put him on speaker. And we all just talk business. <laughs> I was young. But yeah, that really happened to me <clears throat> in my life. Sure did. Sure did. But he passed away a while back. Well, that was a really good person. He was, was a good person. I don't know what y'all missed. Uh, but either way, I was saying. Um, Mrs. Jordan ended up passing, passing away, like after I had moved away or whatever. I was actually living here in Georgia at the time, but I had heard about it. There's a lot of my old employees, um, <clears throat> excuse me, messaged me on Facebook and told me and stuff, so. But, um, really good person.
But I remember when I first became a manager when I was like 17, oh man, you can tell me nothing. My grandma didn't want me to do it because she felt like I wouldn't, you know, focus on school and stuff like that. I mean, I ain't graduate valedictorian or nothing, but my grades was always, you know, what they were supposed to be. And I was determined to prove her wrong. That I could, in fact, multitask and, you know, handle more than one thing at a time. <clears throat> She's from a different generation. And she didn't quite understand that, you know, the school that they was, you know, teaching us for, which was basically to work in one of the local factories, it wasn't how to build your own business. But that's all she knew, you know what I'm saying? But I knew better. And of course we would, you know, butt, butt heads because, you know, she's older, different generation. But I knew better because I'm watching, I'm watching the town deplete, literally. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm watching it. And all these factories closing. And I knew, like, I knew that in order for me to succeed, it wouldn't be there for me. I'm just not saying that you can't succeed there, but for me. You know, and I do plan on going back. But when I want, when I go back, <clears throat> I want it to be to create jobs for other people who decided to, you know, live there. I'm talking about Mississippi now. So that's my goal. It always has been my goal. Never strayed away from my goal. Even in high school, I knew what my goal was, and that was to bring up my community. But I knew the only way that I could do that was to bring the money back, because I knew it was going to be too hard for them, and they wouldn't allow me to um, flourish. My sister-in-law. Opened up a restaurant. She's had a few restaurants, and um, I knew when she opened this last one. I knew, cause I remember when she was doing a little walk around on Facebook Live, and I'm looking at the community. And I'm like, wait, that community does not. That community don't look familiar. You know, it's just the you know feeling about it. You know what I'm saying? I knew. Oh, I don't. I've, I don't even recognize, you know, the area. Even though it's in my hometown, I'm just thinking to myself. I don't even recognize the area. <clears throat> lo and behold, lo and behold, maybe a few weeks later, she came back to her restaurant, and it was demolished. It was demolished. They went through and tore up. <clears throat> everything and then roll on the walls get out nigger no niggers allowed n-i-g-g-e-r excuse me if i'm offending anybody but it should be offended you should be offended because it's offensive a lot of people you know walk around like it ain't happening but i knew I would have to go through the same thing because I was going through it as a kid. You know what I'm saying? You can only walk on this side of the street. You can't walk in um, front of white people's houses. If there ain't no sidewalk, you walk on the street with the sidewalk. You don't walk down white people's street. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it was. And they all wasn't like that. I actually had a white grandma. Now her name was um what? Miss uh Miss Thelma. And the first time I met Miss Thelma, she was outside sunbathing. 
and she had a bikini on and I was young and she caught me staring and <laughs> she's like what you looking at and I was like oops got caught <laughs> but she was young I met her when I was really young and um I was finna get in trouble um because you don't stare at white people you know so I was finna get in trouble my mom was finna whoop me and she was like no 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 <laughs> you know it's, it's okay he young you know he's a kid he don't understand you know what I'm saying? Ever since then, she adopted me. And she always called me her black grandson. She didn't say her black grandson, but in a sense, you know what I mean? So, growing up, she, she called me, uh, she called herself my white grandma. And uh, she worked at this grocery store. Um, and there was so many times where, you know, I just didn't have food to eat on certain days you know depending on the transition of where I was living at that time and I would go to the grocery store where she worked at and see how much time I got and she would feed me and she would make sure I had food I don't think it's a racist thing when I talk about stuff like that on this side because it ain't I mean, that lady was good to me I don't know where she at to this day but she always made sure I smiled. She always made sure I was happy. She always had a smile on her face. She used to make me um, these little jams and stuff because she made jam and you know just different type of preservatives and you know just stuff like that. But yeah, that was my white grandma. she had to this day but I have many stories y'all <laughs> I have so many stories growing up anyway let me end this thing because I feel like the camera's probably about to cut off so if this is your first time here click like and subscribe below thumbs up this video I gotta go run to the gym I have a live to do tonight I gotta cook lunch for work tomorrow. I'm gonna have to get this move bang. Get in here. Get it in, get it in, get it in, get it in, get it in. Alright, y'all. I'm out. Peace.